There are approximately 150 species of Tetris, ranging in size, shape, and almost any color you want. With most being between one and a half and three inches, peaceful and social, it is easy to see why they are some of the most popular fish in the hobby. Today, we are gonna look at what are currently my top five favorite species. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. The Silver Tip Tetra, coming from Brazil, maxes out at two inches. All silver tip tetras that are available in the hobby are captive bred, which means it can accept a wide range of water parameters. It will accept almost any commercially available food, although it would enjoy live or frozen on occasion. Even though plants are not part of its natural environment, they do enjoy densely planted tanks. I would recommend a minimum of six as they can get nippy if they are left alone. However, I would get as many as you have room for. Coming from the upper Amazon basin in Peru is the penguin tetra. The penguin tetra gets two and a half inches with reports of some reaching three inches and a little more. It is equally happy in soft acidic water as it is in hard alkaline water. Temperature ranges from 73 to 82 degrees with pH down to 5.5 and up to 8.0. Although it will accept dried foods in nature, it is a micro predator. Feeding live or frozen regularly will help it achieve its best colors. As with most tetras, these are a schooling species, so always buy at minimum six, but 10 or more would be ideal. The Ruminos tetra comes from the Rio Orinoco and the lower Amazon basin in Venezuela and Brazil. They are found primarily in black water environments where the water is stained brown from decaying organic material. The Ruminos tetra is a very peaceful tetra and won't do well when paired with boisterous species. They are best kept with Epistogrammas, Corydoras, Plecos, or other species that occupy the lower regions of the aquarium. Other ideal tank mates would be other smaller species like Rasboras, Pencilfish, or Hatchetfish. One of the more tightly schooling species, these do best in large numbers of 12 or more. One of the most underrated tetras in the hobby, the Green Fire Tetra, found in Paraguay, Uruguay, Brazil, and Argentina. A smaller species reaching up to one and a half inches, but don't let its size fool you, as it thinks it's a much larger fish. They can sometimes get a bit angry and nip the fins of slower moving fish. Care should be taken when selecting tank mates. Faster moving species and species that don't have long fins would work well with these tetras. They will also appreciate moderately faster flowing water than other species of tetras. Not a fussy eater, they will accept good quality flake supplemented with the occasional live or frozen food. The Blue Emperor Tetra from Brazil. Growing to one and a half inches, it generally inhabits forested areas and slower moving tributaries off the main river channels. Another tetra that does well in acidic water due to the tannins caused by decaying wood in the water. Despite plants not being a part of its natural habitat, they will thrive in heavily planted fish tanks and display the best colorations when in planted aquariums. This is another species that if not kept in a large enough group, they can be stressed and nip the fins of other fish. Therefore, they should be kept in larger groups of at least 10 or more. They have no special requirements when it comes to diet. However, like most tetras, froze and live foods would be appreciated on occasion. There you have it, my top five favorite tetras. I'm curious what your favorites are, so be sure to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you all next time.